we're going to talk about directory user custom attributes. So we're going to get really into the weeds here. So what does this mean? So when you sync in a directory, directories have users, right? And those users, we by default map in a bunch of the common things that people need when they're uh, when they're using directory data. Things like your first name, last name, you know, email address, things like that. So we pull those in by default based on the directory system. But what if you want to expand that and add more and some, you know, add something like what department someone's in, um, maybe what building they work in, what their t-shirt size is. Directories can be full of tons of different stuff. And this is, is even more confusing in enterprise um, systems because these directories can be customized per organization, per enterprise. So even if you have two or three companies using, say they're all using Workday, they might choose to represent the department name differently across all this. And so we've built this really flexible mapping system that allows you to define custom attributes that you can sync into your application and take action based on that. And that's returned in things like webhooks and the directory systems. Um, this is a little bit complicated to describe here. So we're just gonna jump right in and show some screenshots and do a quick demo. So this is how you add directory custom attributes inside of your directory. So you do this inside of the WorkOS dashboard and you essentially name a custom attribute. So in this example to the right, it would be a directory that you want to, for, for your, your app, for all of your users, you wanna pull out things like manager ID, a job title and department name. You can also make these required or optional. So maybe something like department name, it's okay if it doesn't exist, but you have to have job title and manager ID. So you set this up once inside of your application and this would be for all of your users. And then when those directories are actually being added and created, then you do the mapping and you map in the fields that are coming from the directory system to the fields that you need in your app. So pretty straightforward, but you know, there's the setup and experience that you need. Um, for a demo of this, I'm gonna hand this over to David uh, who, who built a lot of this for the custom attributes mapping demo. Thanks so much, Michael. Hi everyone, my name is David and I'm an engineer here at WorkOS. And today I'll be showing you how custom attributes for directory sync works. So as a quick reminder, by default, WorkOS maps a core set of information of users for directory sync in a standardized format. So if you need more fields than just those core attributes, we can use custom attributes. Let's say your app requires certain employee information like manager ID, job title, and if we can get it, department name. So first you would define these attributes in the WorkOS dashboard. And then you have the IT admin for each customer map these fields in the admin portal. So let's walk through how this works. In the WorkOS dashboard, we can go to the left nav and click configuration. And the second tab is where we can add our custom attributes. So again, we wanted manager ID. We also wanted job title and department name, if we can get it. So notice that by default, we require each of those attributes when we add them. But since we said department name is optional, let's go ahead and uncheck that box. So when the IT admin maps that field, then they won't be required to enter it. Okay, so let's say we land our first customer called Foocorp. We'll go ahead and create an organization to represent that customer. And then we'll use our nifty setup links feature to generate a setup link for their IT admin. So let's say I've DM'd or emailed this link out to the IT admin and they've received it. So now I'm playing the role of Foocorp's IT admin and I'm pasting that link into my browser to set up the directory. Let's say Foocorp is using Rippling. So we'll select that, click get started and then it's gonna ask me to run through some instructions to get the API key. And we will paste our API key for our directory. And then now this is the step where you actually set up the mapping. So notice that these are the attributes that we defined in our WorkOS dashboard. And as the IT admin, I need to figure out how we can map them. So first, I'd probably go to the, the Rippling docs and see, okay, where can I get manager ID? There's a field called manager, and it represents the unique identifier of the employee's manager. Perfect. Let's go ahead and copy that over. <clears throat> and then next, we'll do job title. 
and they have a field called title. So we'll map that over. And then department name is optional. So I can either skip this or try to map it. And lucky for us, we have department name. All right, so that completes the mapping. Go ahead and go to the next step. And voila, our directory sync is complete. So now when you either query this directory and receive webhook updates, you will get these custom attributes in a standardized format. That's it. Thank you. So that's the demo for direct for, for directory custom attributes. Sorry, it's a bit of a mouthful. Um, really excited about this, specifically because it really hands off the configuration step to IT, who is the actual one who knows how to map them, who knows what the fields should be. The benefit to you is this normalizes the data right out of the box. So when you define these custom attributes, you don't need to change your application as you're onboarding customers around those custom fields. They just get mapped in to whatever you had set up originally in, in your WorkOS configuration. So IT admins can do this and they don't even have to email you those values or anything. They can do it right there in the admin portal, right on their own as they're setting things up. And lastly, you can make these either required or optional. If there's some nice to have um, attributes that you want to sync in, you can do that as well. And for people that don't have them, they won't be blocked. They can still set up their directory.